So welcome back everyone, Triple M here. Today, taking a look at Fubo TV. Now, Fubo TV is another live streaming service. Uh, most of you guys might be aware of Hulu Plus Live TV, YouTube TV, Sling TV, Direct TV now, as well as Philo. But Fubo constantly goes on the radar, and in all honesty, it offers some of the best packages that's available. So in this video, we're gonna do a quick overview, go over the different preferences, the channel lineup, and also do a live demonstration to see what the interface looks like. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So for you guys that are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, smash that notification bell. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. And also I have reviewed most of the services that I talked about. I will be putting a link to that playlist in the description as well as a card in the top right. So check that out if you have questions about the other services that I mentioned. So after this review is done guys, I plan to do a single video showing you guys which streaming service I think is the best for 2019. So stay tuned for that. That should be out before the end of the year. So Fubo TV. So a lot of people associate Fubo TV with live sports, but Fubo has expanded. They offer a lot of entertainment and take a look at this. They offer over 194 channels and you can take a look at them right now. So you can group them by sports. So you can see we have the Fox Sports, Fox Sports 1, NBA TV. We do have the NFL Network, CBS, Tennis, Red Zone, Stadium, Tennis, Golf TV, a lot of sports options to choose from. It's also important to note that you don't have ESPN on uh, this particular service, but you do have other sports. So if that's a big deal, then maybe this isn't the service for you. So uh, entertainment, bulk of the channel is going to be entertainment. And we do have a, a lot of news channels as well. So scroll down to the packages. So last year, the packages were in the $40 range. Now every year it's gonna go up and it doesn't matter which service you're on guys. If you're using AT&T TV, formerly known as DirecTV, they recently increased their prices. YouTube TV has gone up, Hulu Live Plus TV has gone up. So essentially they're all gonna be in the same price range. It's just a matter of which one works best for you and which one actually works on the devices that you own. So they do offer three basic packages. Most of these uh, streaming services will have a seven day free trial as this one does. And uh, they will require a credit card or some kind of payment method at sign up, but you need to cancel it within the seven days or else you will be charged. So do have the family package right here. Let's take a look at that. All right, so that one is $59 a month. 108 channels, 130 plus event in 4K. So you do have a lot of 4K options, which I'm a fan of. So comes down to are these channels, channels that you want. Take a look at some of the local channels. NBA TV is included, Fox Sports 2, MTV, TV Land. So um, a lot of these channels I probably don't use at the bottom here, but to other people that might be a requirement for them. So included in this package is Cloud DVR Plus, which is 500 hours of space. Along with that, you do get family share or three screens that you can view simultaneously on. All right, so that was a family plan and that one was 59. The next one is the Ultra. So the Ultra is gonna be $74.99 a month, guys, for the first three months and after that, it looks like it goes up to 79. So you save a couple bucks and this includes a lot of different options. So 176 plus channels, 134K events. And included, you get Fubo Extra, which includes DIY, MTV Live, a bunch of other channels that might not or might be um, appealing to you. Further down, Showtime, so nine channels of Showtime. Uh, normally it's $10.99 a month, but that's included in this package. You also do get your Sports Plus, NFL Red Zone, Golf TV, Stadium 1, 2, and 3. Now, Cloud DVR is still the same 500 hours, as well as Family Share for three screens. As far as your compatible devices, you can watch on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, so your Fire TV, Fire Sticks, Fire TV Cube, also your Apple TV, iOS, Android, including Android TV, your Samsung Smart TV, as well as your Chromecast. Let's go ahead and get signed up and see what the interface looks like. Now, it's also important to note that during the sign up process, if you want to add uh, packages as you go, you can go ahead and do that. So if you want to add the Sports Plus package, for instance, $10 a month, or if you want to go down to Showtime, Fubo Cycling, or anything else that you want uh, with your service you can go ahead and add it as you sign up so let's go ahead and sign up for a free trial so here we are in the web browser i'm using google chrome but it should work on other browsers as well so essentially this is the welcome screen so you can use your mouse to kind of navigate this is the live uh, tv section up top scroll down you see your features live sports you have news live and up next and further down popular tv shows popular movies top league tournaments and once you start watching content in the bottom you can continue uh, watching those movies or tv shows where you left off so let's go ahead and we'll just start cnn 
go ahead and mute that. I'll probably block it out as well. So went ahead and pause that, but you can see you can go back a forward 15 seconds or you can go back to live. Uh, further down, um, hit the info. You can also record, so DVR. So that's recording. We'll go ahead and check up on it later. It is playing right now and it tells you what's up next. You do have the option to mute yeah. right here. Under your settings, have the quality right here. You can set it to auto adjust to your network speed. So this will come in handy, especially if you guys are on the go, if you're using your LTE and you don't want to use up your data, you can go ahead and put it on a lower quality. And last but not least, you do have your closed caption right there. So the next tab up top is going to be your sports. All right, so everything that's happening right now. So you can see League One, I do have something on. You do have some soccer games on right now. Uh, tells you what's ended. You can go ahead and record them tell you what's live as well which is pretty cool here's your featured up top all right and you can categorize based on the type of sport so same thing you have your tv shows right here your movies and this is um all video on demand essentially so search for what you want to watch pause it where you want pick up when you want as well and what we have here is our tv guide so me, I believe a good TV guy can really kill a service, uh, in my opinion. If your TV guy is no good, then service essentially is no good, in my opinion. So, Fubu has a decent TV guide. I do love it. it. shows a nice little thumbnail of what the channel is on the left. And on the right, it gives you the timelines of what's coming up next. It's almost like the YouTube TV guide, but they um, went that extra step to include a nice timeline of what's happening. So, so for me, you can go ahead and record anything that's coming up, or you can hit the button right there and kind of keep going on that timeline to see what's coming up. And the left side will remain the same, guys. Love the TV guide on Fubo. And at the end, you have your recordings. Of course, this is what I started recording a couple minutes ago. I can put it in the trash. And right here, it tells you the percentage that you're using. So I'm just using 1%, uh, just recording the news. In your menu, you can manage your accounts, manage your add-ons, apps and devices. Let's click on that. So here are the different devices that you can watch on. And I should point out that it's works on Android TV as well as your regular Android box. So let's go ahead and check it out on the Nvidia Shield, which is running Android TV. So here we are on the Nvidia Shield. Downloading and installing was pretty straightforward. No backdoors. Just go to the Google Play Store, search Fubo, and it is there available for you. So top again, it does have the live TV channels. Everything does work with the Nvidia Shield remote as well, which I think is pretty cool. All right, so nice and easy to navigate. So the menus are hidden up top, which I actually like. So if you scroll all the way up, you can see you do have your sports, TV shows, as well as your movies. And let's check out the TV guide. So the TV guide, again, looks pretty good on Android TV, guys. Scroll to the left. You can go to different dates. So you can go to Thursday, Friday to see what's coming on. Or you can simply click on what you want to watch. So let's check out Rush News, which is a local news channel, guys. So we do have the option to play, record, or check out more episodes. So let's hit play. All right quality looks really good so hit the center button it's going to bring up the timeline of course you can go ahead and pause it go back 15 seconds and hit the back button to go back and um only thing i would like for them to include is the option to change channels while watching another uh, tv show so i would love the option to be in um, dr oz and then just hit over to go to channel two or um, up to go back to channel six or whatever the case is just to be able to change channel that will bring that realistic uh, cable feel to it but uh, besides that not bad guys everything works well quality is really good and let's go ahead and check out the recording that we have going it is still going right now so uh we can play from start play from live or stop the recording let's go ahead and stop it so that's it for this review guys let me know what you guys think drop your comments suggestions in the comment section below and also stay tuned we'll be dropping a video before the end of the year comparing all of these streaming services and let you guys know which one i think is the best as always don't forget to like share and subscribe hit that thumbs up on this video thank you for watching and i'll catch you on the next one